our Let's last cook. recipe, we're going to be doing dessert, of course. We couldn't pass up uh, an opportunity to travel around the world and try a new dessert. So we're going to be featuring something from the Philippines called Halo Halo. Has anyone ever had it before? Yeah, OK. <laughs> See so a couple people. It's, it's actually, uh, there's a variation of this exact same sort of dessert um, from Vietnam as well, from Malaysia, from Thailand, even Japan. Um, and the basic, the way I like to describe it is snow cone meets ice cream sundae <laughs> in Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> you know, you'll know what I mean. Uh, we're doing a different version, but it commonly has some sort of, again, another legume, which, you know, um, you might not be used to in desserts, but it's, it's very common in, um, in, in Asia, a lot of, a lot of Chinese cooking. Um, crazy jellies, different types of jellies, tapioca, uh, taro, either taro paste, taro ice cream, and shaved ice. So you have that snow cone effect. And then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of uh, either condensed milk is used, evaporated milk. I've had it with coconut milk before, and I, f I like the coconut milk the best. So that's what we're gonna use today. Uh, what, again, is lovely about this dish is not only is it fantastical and magical, uh, you, can add, you can add whatever you want to it. All of um, your favorite fruits yes, together at yes. last. So go wild. Uh, jackfruit is common. You can use jackfruit. You can find jackfruit um, even canned at, at most grocery stores now. Um, they usually put them in like a syrup. So if you do use it, just drain most of the syrup. Otherwise, it's going to be way, way too sweet. Uh, strawberries. We have kiwi. We have mango. Uh, the key is just to chop it up really fine um, and make it artistic, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so We're going to be packing in the vitamin C into this. A lot of people don't realize just in one little kiwi, you're getting 100% of the vitamin C that you need in a day. So again, important for helping to fight off illness and infection. So we have our glass here. Um, now the only part you'll have to probably you know, cook ahead of time um, is the red beans. Um, so sweet red beans, very easy. Um, either adzuki beans or mung beans are usually used. Uh, I use red kidney beans. You can use whatever you it want. I've actually, had it, I've actually had it with white kidney beans before. So whatever legume you want, just take you know, some cooked beans, even a cup of cooked beans. Again, if it's canned, drain, rinse. Put them into a pot with a little bit of honey and some vanilla. Uh, I love the vanilla in it. And just slowly cook it for about 10 minutes. That's all it takes just until the beans start to break apart a little bit, like you can see here. And then you just refrigerate it, let it cool. The vanilla is a very important part of this recipe so that you can refer to it at, not as hollow hollow, but as the vanilla thrilla from Manila. That's the only reason I added the vanilla. <laughs> Does anyone remember the thrilla from Manila? That's kind of why. It's, it's a, a boxing Muhammad reference? Ali, okay. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. I did not get it. It makes this dessert so much better. <laughs> so we're going to add the red beans, sweetened red beans. Um, and it, it, the textural component of sweet red beans, like it might not seem like it works in dessert, but um, it adds this really nice sort of starchiness to it um, that adds an almost cake component. Like if you really think you're missing that kind of cakey piece, it's actually fantastic. So the sweet red beans in there. Again, go crazy with the fruit. You Make it as colorful. Yeah, uh, yeah, honeydew melon is really good. Watermelon, maybe. Strawberry. It's usually not this much fruit, but I'm adding a lot of it. And the jackfruit has a really nice texture to it as well. Um, so see if you can get it. It's really good. We're making a big one here. And then one of the most important components is the snow. So you can either get yourself uh, one of these guys. Um, what would you call this guy? I borrowed this from, from a, our Filipino family that we love. Um, Julian, what's this called? <laughs> <laughs> and an ice shaver. There we go. It's called a hollow hollow maker. <laughs> that doesn't sound exotic at all. Oh yeah, ice. That's what it's called. It's called this one's called ice. Um, Where do you buy this? You probably okay, yeah. TNT or something. TNT, you'll yeah. probably find yeah. it. Okay. In Kensington Market. Okay, awesome. 
Uh, what would you do if you didn't have one of these babies? So that's a good question. So it actually comes with these little molds and you can make these little circular ice blocks which fit in perfectly. If you don't have one of these, um, you can try, if you have a, a nice blender, a lot of them now will crush ice for you. Um, it doesn't have to be like perfect snow. I've actually had it a few times where it's just like little chunks of ice. And, and as you chew through the ice, it's kind of a nice texture piece too, so. Or my tried and true method is you take a bag of ice and, and you throw it, it on the, the ground. <laughs> Either way, yeah, even like also this, uh, wrap it in, uh, leave it in the plastic, wrap it in some dish towel and just go mad Hammer. on it. Yeah, and just get little crushed pieces and that goes really, really well on top. So I've never actually used this before. <laughs> For the first time, before your eyes, lady and gentlemen. So I'm pretty sure you just put the glass <laughs> underneath. Oh, oh, we're missing it. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, this is cool. I want one. Perfect, perfect. Yes. So here we go. There's our snow. In the winter, you can just go outside and scoop some up and throw it right in. And then, and then right at the end, finish it with a little bit of that coconut milk. And this is fabulous. So we're doing, you know, just natural sources of sugar with the fruit. We're getting some fiber. We're getting a lot of nutrition there, rather than our <coughs> usual snow cones with some, some syrup, flavored yeah. syrup on top. This is a great way to get <coughs> some extra nutrients. And then this, I think it's more of a North American thing. If I have Sundays, I have to have some sort of nut on top. So these are cashews, just toasted <coughs> cashews. I know Julian's mom would probably get mad at me that I'm doing this, <laughs> but it's tasty. And that's it. Very crazy, delicious. This is our halo halo. Very popular in the streets uh, in the Philippines and, and, and a lot of countries. So From the streets to your backyard. Yeah. All right.